All right, welcome or welcome back, everyone. This is where we're at so far. We've got our bedroom and our. Let's say I'm not sure what this room is supposed to be. <laughs> it looks crowded, whatever it is. There's not much floor space left in our. That. And then, of course, the bathroom back here. Our kitchen. Nice, I have music slash book. Maybe media room. <laughs> Our crystal ball room. Got to have one of those. And I, I'm still calling this one back here the library. <laughs> but I hopefully, oh yeah, there's our steps with all our various decorations on it. <laughs> I'm hoping this is going to be a fairly quick process today because I don't have a lot to add on, but most of it is figuring out where all these little pieces go. The tray of tiny pieces is down to a bowl of tiny pieces. <laughs> but, uh, gonna start off by buttoning up a couple of things from yesterday to finish up. I, I'm supposed to add that on right there. Get a little more ornate entrance way. So let's jump right in and get going. We got the old Gorilla Super Glue. Get the glare off there. <laughs> And get me a good coating on the feet here. And I don't think I'll need more than that because it's got going up against this wall. Here, centered, yeah. I wonder where I can get some pressure on it, maybe. Break off one of those pieces. <laughs> I think that's a small enough piece where I'm not going to try and repair it. <laughs> there it goes. Our entranceway to our bedroom, I guess. Um, Alright. Now, it's time to put our little platform in here. I'm pretty sure it just tucks right up against the, the wall here. Because that seems to line everything up pretty nicely. So I'm going to go with the old Turbo tacky on this, Aileen's turbo tacky. <laughs> and I do before I do that, I do want to make sure. Yeah, it does go straight through <laughs> there to there. Now let's see. Just a little. I don't think it'll take much because there's going to be plenty of surface area there. <laughs> Spread the glue around with a wiggle and just plop it down there. Okay, while we let that do its thing, we got two more of these posts that go over here on, on this end. Actually goes right up next to this ledge there, so that's gonna okay. Now I'm trying to remember how I ended up doing that yesterday. <laughs> I think it was just a little bit up here, and then a little on the bottom. And then go here where I can. Hold it down, get some pressure on there. Okay. That seems to be it. So we got right there at the corner. Bottom. This is going to be hard to get the pressure on that one. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Now, the only loose pieces I've got as far as the wood goes is these three fence looking dealios. I'm trying to see. I see one of them. <laughs> I don't see, and just FYI, at this point, they have totally skipped. They don't even tell you to put this piece in on the instructions. It just appears all of a sudden. <laughs> and it's the instructions on getting all the small pieces are just a couple of pictures. <laughs> okay. And I see... Okay, and they did the same thing with this piece because I just found it. <laughs> it goes back here between these two. That's which makes sense. There's a gap there, so it's just going to be held on to the bottom by those two little tiny pieces. So that's a super glue situation if I've ever seen one. <laughs> goes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give another five seconds here. All right. It appears to be staying now. back around to the front yeah. the instructions on this one are just sort of I see it in the picture over here in the box no okay Okay, I think I see. I see. Here's a picture of the other end. So it's evidently coming out from the, the building to make a... That's what I'm assuming anyway. <laughs> so I think I'm supposed to do something like this with it. So I'm going to put it... Okay. So that's just going to be my guess on what to do with that, to be honest. So <laughs> it looks like it works. Same thing over here. Okay. Bottom of the steps. more tiny pieces I need to add to my bucket my tree okay so now I believe we're down to just adding well we gotta I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is my little stove display stand what's it who's it because that's got to go all the way through the from top to bottom because it's got a light on it. <laughs> okay. So. 
First try. <laughs> it goes facing that way. According to the directions. I think it's a sort of an angle. Let's see if I can find. No, it actually is pretty much dead on. So I'm going to use the super glue since that that one actually the angle matters. <laughs> of a distraction maybe to me anyway and bring, bring it in closer so we can see some of the stuff as long as I'm not working underneath the balcony you can see it all <laughs> okay so looks like one of our brooms I can get a hold of them so let's be over here leaning up against that little gate that just put on or fence or whatever it is. So I'm gonna put a dab on the corner and and a dab on there. And set it in there. Yeah. About like that. <laughs> Now, and I, ha I am going to just forego the the mailbox. I just couldn't, I, I'm just not satisfied with how it turned out. So I'm just going to, they're going to have a P.O. box at this place. <laughs> and our sign goes about here, it says. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. All this stuff gets to go with your own discretion. So it's sort of... This is, this is like, I guess, the fun part. We got our wicker basket full of plants. I just dropped a bunch out. <laughs> there, okay. Looks like our box with our witch's hat goes uh, I'm gonna sort of put I think I'm gonna put it facing the other way I think this way so I can get the edit I think like that Maybe it'll stop me from bumping into that gate and knocking it over later on. And then crystal ball. The green one. It's supposed to actually looks like it goes like right in the floor back there, which seems like a waste. I'd rather have it more prominently displayed because that's you know it's got the because <laughs> it's sparkly. I think is there anything I'm going, let's see, yeah, fit, fit, I think, right there's where I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> Actually, over here is pretty prominent, and then go, I don't think, it doesn't look like anything's going back there, it's going to go that area, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, that's where it's going to go live. Okay. 
Okay, and then our treasure chest. Okay, it's supposed to go right here. of our little workstation counters whatever this is supposed to be <laughs> and our mortar and pistol is supposed to go over here Supposed to be pawing at the table, it looks like. So, bottom of there. Hmm. Hmm. And let's see. So many things that I don't see. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is our piano stool. So that actually goes back over here. Okay. I have to show you this one later too because it's underneath the cover. Three potions goes okay. Goes over here. And the wicker box with the lid on it. It's supposed to go right next to the post here. Dads or sparkles or whatever goes up there. And let's see where's okay. This guy leaning up in the doorway underneath our underneath the balcony. So I'm just gonna put a try and get a dab of glue right in the middle there. Just put that on the into the doorway, that that corner. I don't cover up my sparkly crystal ball. Okay. It's still pretty prominent. <laughs> okay, where's our magic staff goes on the steps? It looks like. Oh. Alright. This little it's, uh, okay, that's that goes in the doorway as well. And it's amazing how much stuff they're managing to put underneath the balcony. <laughs> box. Okay, that goes over here in our steps next to our suitcase of doodads. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> I 
thought. Maybe not. Okay. Okay, we got a table with our candle on it. Goes like here-ish. chair goes back behind it. Oop. Hmm. Hmm. What else have I got now? Got books. I see I got a book. Got a few books of the opening ones. A couple of the closed ones. A letter. Oh yeah, and the logs that are supposed to go into our workbench there. It's on the other side. Okay. I think I can get down in there. Maybe. This was actually supposed to be a letter. I mean, a, like an envelope, but I'm, I'm good using this. I'm actually going to tuck it sort of underneath our... That already set in. Underneath our treasure chest there. That looks cool. <laughs> yeah, this guy... Supposed to sort of be... Over here behind the cat, going with all the pictures in in the inside. So let's grab on that. Is that the wrong way? I need to be grabbing the other end. There. And. Okay, got the owl. Let's see what it's going to <laughs> Looks like the owl is, I think it's on the rocking chair. <laughs> sort of on the back, sitting on the armrest. So back there. Understand that one. <laughs> what? Yeah, I sort of thought that would happen. Get back in there. <laughs> okay, this way. Fairly straight. <laughs> uh, got four books left. This seems pretty well enough. <laughs> so I'm going to spread them around the house somewhere else, I think. I think, yeah. I'm going to stack these two and put them at the top of the steps. Get 
I actually already got one up there, so I'm just gonna add to that. Make make a three book stack. See if I can. There, it's sort of behind the bird cage. Okay, can't get the glue in there, so I take put the glue on here. too much because I'm <laughs> scared of what's going to happen if I do. Let's see now. Where do I put my last two opening books? <laughs> Where can you go? <laughs> it would make sense for him to go. Hmm. Under the table. table for sure. in the kitchen, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, right there next, uh, next to our magic bottle. Something like that. All right. And, oh yeah, let me do a quick scan to see if I can find where the other broom goes. Okay, I think the broom needs to be in the kitchen too. <laughs> I'm gonna add the broom. You know what? In that, that corner back there by, behind this table, I think that looks like a good spot for a broom. <laughs> so, here we go. grip there <laughs> and I have broken my yep <laughs> that thing came this thing came off again okay let me try the super glue again I, maybe I wasn't quick enough putting it together last time because <laughs> that should be a good target for that a good bond for that do both sides maybe a little contact cement thing show the wear and tear of me sticking it on there over and over again. I don't think I lined it up good either. <laughs> no, I didn't, but yeah, it's not, not, eh, it's sort of sticking. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was. It appears to have alleviated itself. <laughs> oh, and I do need to oh, run these last four wires up from the bottom into our wiring room here that goes through this hole so you guys 
was over on the other side of the door, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I hope everything in the front isn't falling over while I'm doing this. <laughs> instructions it's it's fairly simple wiring it's just gang gang together all the one color gang together all the other color and wire them together evidently polarity is not an issue here seems like I'd have more look when I couldn't see okay there it goes still stayed down in place <laughs> I think so all right well, I said all the fun begins let's see here Does it show how little difference there is between gray and white on <laughs> on the display? Okay. Okay. That one. Okay. Yep. Okay. Actually, let me through there. I'm not clamping them down. Just running them through. <laughs> I have a gray clamp and a white clamp. So hopefully that'll. I'm pretty sure that's gray. Yeah, gray. White. All these are grays. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see any reaction to it. I don't know if it's, I can't remember that. 
in person it's very obvious. I know it, I don't guess it's probably not showing up much on camera. Right. Okay. So let me double check that's what it actually does say. Okay, it's supposedly supposed to come all the same length. Okay, the red and white and gray and black. Okay, into our and it's a little bit more. I think it's a, I think it's a solid wire instead of okay, but anyways. Uh, trying to decide if I want to cut them the same length because if I do, I need. I think I'd already taken my strippers downstairs. Yeah, because there's going to be a lot of wire to fit in that little bitty box. Okay, I'm going to go get my wire strippers and cut them to length, and I'll be right back, and we will wrap this thing up, hopefully with some light. Okay, got my wire strippers, my snips, and a couple of wire nuts. I may have to go to get a bigger wire nuts, but that's what I'm going to start with. Uh, Go with, go with the grays. I must. You know, they say it all the same length, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give. Plenty of, I'm gonna go about right here. I think. Actually, I'll just go down to wherever the shortest one is. I think that'll. Eh, yeah, that's about. Well, they all go at once. I doubt it. Eh, most of them. Okay. Just need enough trip. I may need to go get less complicated wire strippers, to be honest. <laughs> I do like the simple one-handed operation though. Definitely gonna need a bigger wire nut. Oh. 
believe the last one. They're coming apart now. Yep. Okay. And I didn't forget. Black and gray go together, so. here mm -hmm. and let's see all right did stay together cool now make sure I'm in the off position hope I'm not turning off <laughs> And just do it all again with the white ones. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, cool. About right there, I believe. Unforeseen obstacle now. <laughs> Getting it to... Okay, uh, let's swap you guys.
Okay, and the red one. Where oh, not? All right, feels good. Let's dim the lights. Too dim. <laughs> and cross your fingers. And oh yeah, <laughs> the bell come on. Do, 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 do. I think they have. All right. Oh yeah, that's very cool. Got the. Yeah, they... I think I've got a new favorite model. <laughs> Look at her. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a little thin. You can see it burning. You know, you're punching through on the, the cardboard there. And these are a nice yellow light, too. It, it, it looks proper like they're actual lanterns. Okay, since it worked, I'll actually put my... <laughs> see if I can fit these all into our little hole here. <laughs> Let's see, where's the... Maybe I'll make sure. All right, sorry about that. Battery died on me. I didn't... Didn't notice it fussing at me. <laughs> Let's see. Get the guys in there somehow. Yeah, I may need to trim the wires down even further to make the battery pack fit in there. But that's sort of in there. That's, I'm yeah, I'm pleased. That 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 definitely looks really good. And it, it all, I say, is the 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 fact that LEDs are sort of yellowish really makes it look like real lanterns. I think it's a good touch. That's why all our details everywhere. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll definitely put a short up of this, getting a good look at all the details tomorrow, so you can see all the. Hopefully, you know, as much details as I can get you in a minute. <laughs> yeah, this is... I'm pleased and relieved and glad this is done. But, moving on to more, uh, the next project, I think... I've got, I've got a few I've already bought. Now I've just got to decide which one to do, and I have not yet. So we'll find that out tomorrow. I'm thinking, hmm, 
I'm thinking I bought the, I got the the Rocker steam engine. I, I, I've been wanting to do that since somebody mentioned it. You know, I'd already spotted it. And I, th I think the yeah, I think I've just decided it's going to be the Rocker steam engine. <laughs> so that's what we'll start up on tomorrow. This is like I said, I'm pleased. This looks really good. It, the, all the shadows and everything. Yeah, yeah. This this is a good one. All right, folks. I, I'll quit staring at this and get to get back to reality thanks for watching like subscribe comment complain share do whatever you want to with all that be good to one another stay safe and i'll see you next time bye you gonna say anything yeah neo's here but she's not feeling like talking tonight meow there she goes